So let's continue with getx and learn a little bit. So one of the first thing that we should do about getx when you try to initialize dependencies, you should go ahead and initialize this get storage or any kind of storage that you use. It could be get storage, shared preferences. You should do it at the beginning because this is the thing that gets initialized at the very beginning of your application startup because your application may read information from the local storage or local memory. So that's why you should go ahead and do that. So it should be at the top. And then the API layer, because once you get storage is initialized, for example, if you have your um, authentication saved or kind of token saved or things are saved in your application, then you want to talk back to your server. So in that case, you want to initialize your API layer. So this is where you're going to initialize your API layer, meaning that your base URL and basic structure and everything else, including the port, everything should be there. That how it should communicate, the application should communicate with the backend. All right, and after that, once these things are done, you should go ahead and initialize your services, different kind of services, okay? Now, these services we need because they are going to, you know, build the skeleton for your application and using this service, eventually you talk to your API layer at the end, okay? So then this is the place where you want to initialize your service layer. It's very important. And then at the end, you can also use this uh, controllers initialization. Now, in general, controllers a lot of time are per screen or page based, so it should come after this. So once you have this controller initialization, you could do them lazily. That means that they would be created once and then they would stay in the memory and it's, it's going to save time further down the road. OK, so this should be the flow. And at, at the end, you, if you have any kind of services, so that hands you know some random things or uh, helping things so you should go ahead and initialize them so this is the basic flow and this is here i have also did, i have also laid out so anyway so briefly first go ahead and initialize your stories and then your api layer and then your data services layer basic business layer and then utility services now let's go ahead and take a look at the code itself so as you can see over here, I have this thing in it dependencies. Now within it, I have this uh, storage first, as I said early, and then I have this API layer, as you will see that. So this is our API layer, this is over here, and then different kind of services over here, this one, and then controllers, and then as well as different utility services that what we have seen. Now, this is the broad picture that how things are being initialized step by step. So if you use getx, try to follow this. It's going to help you and maintain a good structure for your application.